Hey everybody, welcome back. In our last video, we got uh, TypeScript installed, Node, with Node uh, NPM installed. And we also installed the editor. We hadn't launched any of it yet. So let's go ahead and create our first file here. Uh, so we can actually open up our editor, say code dot. And if that didn't open for you, you can manually open up the editor. And you go up here and you go file, open. Uh, so here we'll see open editors. These would be files that we currently have open, which we don't have any. Um, this is for searching. This is for Git uh, source control. This is debugging. And then here we have extensions. Go ahead and type in TypeScript. And you'll see one called TypeScript Hero. This is one I recommend. Uh, click the install button. It'll probably ask you to restart. You just click the button and it'll restart for you. Perfect. So if we go back over here, we can click the new file button or we can right click say new file and we'll say main.ts for TypeScript. Make this a little bigger so you can see. And from here, uh, we can start uh, working on our project. So to get started, I'm going to hit type in export. And we normally don't have to do this. This is just because uh, we can get some weird errors since we won't actually be exporting anything. We'll just be doing all our commands in this one file. Uh, so the first thing we want to talk about is normally in JavaScript, when we declare a variable, we say var a equals 10. But uh, we're typically not going to use var if we can help it. What we want to use is let, oops, and const. So let is just just like var except to the way it's scoped. So let kind of helps you in some of those gotcha cases. It'll actually scope it to the curly braces. So it's block scoped rather than var is function scoped. So only when it's in a function is it actually scoped. So that's kind of one of the big problems with using var in JavaScript is it be, all of a sudden gets hoisted and becomes globally scoped. Constant on the other hand, you can't redeclare it. So then if I try to say C equals nine, it's going to not like that because cannot assign C because it's constant or a read only property. So that's kind of one of the big perks there. Some of the other variables we have, um, we can declare are, we can say number. So we don't actually have to do an assignment like in JavaScript, you actually do an assignment here in TypeScript. We can actually just say this is equal to something. And it's going to be of type number. So later when we go to declare it, we say d equals hello. It's not going to like that because hello is now assignable to type number. So that's a really nice feature of TypeScript, kind of catching all those cases where we don't want to reassign something to the wrong type. Um, so let's change back to A here. We can also say string. We also have the type of Boolean. And then we also have the type any. So this is very useful in cases where you have some API you're calling that you may or may not be getting back certain property. You may have some weird cases. You're not sure what the type is going to be. It could be a string, could be a number, could be a Boolean. So you want to use any in that case. But if you use any, you're not going to get uh, some of the helpers that you normally get or the IntelliSense, uh, excuse me, t uh, static type checking static type checking that you normally get. Um, there's also a cool feature of strings, which I'll show you now. Let's say b equals, and we can use backticks. This is for string interpolation. And we can say hello world from a multi-line. We can save that. So this is perfect. And then in here, what we can do is we can actually transpile that code. So we can say TSC for our TypeScript, we'll say target, we'll say ECMAScript 2016, and we'll say dot slash, we'll say main dot TS. That's the file we want to transpile. And we could actually use the uh, dash dash watch property here. So that'll just go ahead and run and I'll watch for any file changes. So we come back over here. 
you'll see we have another file called main.js. You'll see it's transpiling to ECMAScript 2016. We could also do, see one target 2015. You know, watch for changes. So this is a number and we save and you'll see it saved here. Let's see, it doesn't look right. I'll just leave this off here. Won't give it a target. There we go. So, cause in uh, ES 2016, you can actually use let and const. So this is actually reverting back to uh, ES5 where it's actually using vars, which is really nice. And so you can see here, it automatically is throwing in the new lines for us. So some really, really cool features that we wouldn't normally get.